our so-called Tatara channel is apparently at the top of the heap when it comes to credibility. Guess she even helped solve a real-life crime, and all because of a video. As you can imagine, the politicians and police follow her pretty closely. And the video of me, what about that? That was a total load! Well, that I'm not so sure about. Maybe there's a tip so incredibly well-crafted, even Tatara couldn't see through it. I wonder who gave her the tip in the first place. Uh, she never reveals the identity of her sources. That's why she always gets the big scoops. So, when exactly did the video get put online? Three days ago. Since then, it's hit three million views. And now that it's on the Tatar channel, you can bet the world believes every bit of it. Do we have any way to get in touch with her? Sure. You can always try and DM her. I already did, though. No response so far. But even if she did take the video down, what's done is done. Once something gets uploaded, copies of it start spreading like wildfire. And what makes this whole mess even sadder is, those who eat this stuff up don't even really care about the truth. They don't? Then what the hell's the point? Really, most people just want a target. A punching bag for their own problems. You can't go around trashing innocent people, but if it's someone who's proven to be evil, well, that's a different story. So it's bullying, rebranded for the modern era. Well, on the other hand, this stuff has actually served as a bit of a crime deterrent. We uploaded Rio Aoki's confession four years ago, remember? The cultural climate's been changing ever since. Uh, now it's our turn on the chopping block, is that it? <laughs> Talk about irony. Oh, I'm sorry, Adachi-san. Namba, this is my fault. Huh? If I hadn't been so naive, none of this would have happened. Hey. You two turned your lives around and I went and ruined everything. I'm so sorry. Yeah, truth be told, I had a feeling you'd take it that way. Why would this ever be your fault, you dumbass? The problem's obviously whoever spread the lies. And what's more, don't underestimate us. We've ridden out rougher storms than this one. I'll say. Compared to sleeping outside in the snow back when I was a bum, this is a regular slice of heaven. Come what may, I'll crawl my way out of hell as many times as it takes. Pretty sure you'd do the same, right? Guys! Thank you! Look, just know, I won't be able to help you get ex-Yakuza back on their feet anymore. Yeah, not like you could, seeing as you lost both your source of jobs and the means to hand them out. I feel like a joke. Especially after all that talk about carrying out the boss's legacy. Well, look, right now, just do your best. Besides, it's fair to say more Yakuza are gonna come looking for help. You'll have to explain all that's happened. Yeah, you're right. Let's do it! Yeah! Open one! Break the stone! Nice knowing you! <laughs> the wind 
to be proud. Excuse me. Are you Kasuga-san? You know, Ichiban Kasuga, the hero of Yokohama? <sighs> That's me. Oh, thank goodness. I heard you got work, that maybe you might have a job for me? Uh, yeah, about that. As you can see, I too used to be in the Yakuza. I've got a wife and two kids. The older one starts elementary school next year. They've gone through hell because of me. But I at least want to provide a good life for my family. The, uh, word on the street is that even a guy like me could find some honest work and turn things around. Please, is there anything available? <sighs> I'm sorry. Hmm? You see, I actually just lost my job. As such, I can't do a whole lot for you. Huh? I'm just here to break the news, tell everyone what happened. Just know I'm really sorry. You're serious? Man, no matter where I go, it's the same thing. I was planning to end it all, but that changed when I heard about you. I'm really at the end of my rope. <sighs> now, now you're out too? You're in the same boat as me? Is this some kind of sick joke? Damn it, you gave me hope, you know that? You can't just toy around with people's emotions like this. Come on! I'm sorry. Please, I, I'm so sorry. Damn it! <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, Kasuga-san. Hey, good to see you. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cause a scene. Uh, that that's okay. Do you, um, think I can ask you a favor? Provided it's not too much trouble, could you put up a sign saying I'm not here anymore? You see, there's a good chance more people will show up looking for me. Y you mean more Yakuza? Former Yakuza, yes. Would you do that for me? Otherwise, I'm worried they'll just cause trouble for you. Uh, oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I certainly don't want those guys waltzing in here and harassing people. I really appreciate it. Uh, furthermore, uh, don't think that hanging around will make us change our decision. Uh, also, were you fighting out here? I won't have anything like that on the premises. Not one bit. I'm sorry. I'll leave right away. Guess I'll go see Sasaki. He should know what's been going on. The battle is on! Cool! Open one! Break the zone! <laughs> Not an enemy in sight!
Oh, hey, Kasuga-san. Sorry to bother you all of a sudden. There's something I... I heard from Adachi-san I'm getting let go at the end of the month. I'm sorry. It's my fault for not having my act together. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Actually, this whole thing's helped me come to terms with it. I put all that effort into having a change of heart to rebuild my life, and then something like this happens. I'm starting to think that someone up there must really hate me. Sasaki... <laughs> it's no big deal, really. <laughs> I'd say you look a hell of a lot worse than me, huh? <sighs> Thanks for uh, letting me dream for a bit. Anyway, I probably ought to start packing this place up. Right. What do I do now? Kasuga, you there? It's Adachi. I'm here too. Adachi san? Namba? Hey, sorry to barge in. You got a minute? Yeah. Time's about all I got these days. Sorry, I hope you guys are fine with just water. Well, water's never a bad thing. Much obliged. So, what's up? It's just that... Something's been on my mind. Have you, by any chance, gone past Hello Work recently? Yeah, uh, nearby, at least. I thought maybe there might still be some guys looking for me. Oh, any luck? Anybody end up swinging by? I got a couple guys the first few days, but no more than that. Guess word's gotten around that they can't count on me anymore. I see. Well, it turns out there might be more to it than that. What do you mean? Well, lately our old friend the Seiryu clan's been acting mighty suspicious. The Seiryu clan? I think back a bit. You remember how Captain Takabe became the chairman after Hoshino died? Yeah, that made sense, given how the clan's set up. And did you know that Takabe went to prison? No. That's news to me. Right. So here's where things get interesting. Rumor has it, the Yakuza left behind by both the Tojo and the Omi have started gathering under the Seiryu banner. But we're not just talking 10 or 20 guys here. Huh? You mean... I mean, the Seiryu clan's been boosting their numbers in a big way, and neither Hoshino nor Takabe would have okayed that. However, with Chairman Hoshino dead, and Takabe in the slammer... Exactly. Somebody in the Seiryu clan must be plotting something while their boss is out of commission. So all those guys who are trying to go straight, they're going back in under the Seiryu clan? Nah, that's not all. Frankly gets even worse. Huh? Apparently, Sasaki's one of them. He's joined the Seiryu clan, too. Sasaki? Losing his job really took its toll, I guess. We can't rule out the possibility that he gave up. Living as a civilian might have been too tough. Ugh. So he went and joined the Seiryu clan? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it from one of my buddies at the homeless camp. Look, I'm pretty sure I've got no right saying this. In fact, I know I don't. But I can't stand by and watch Sasaki get dragged back into the Yakuza. After all, he made a decision to earn his life back. I saw him do it with my own eyes. I want to help him, however I can. Well, 
I figured you would, and I'm glad. <laughs> You're heading to Seriu Clan HQ, right? Count us in. But, guys... Oh, but nothing. We're with you on this. Besides, there's no guarantee they'll be willing to hash things out. After everything, you really think we'd leave you to the dogs? Mm-hmm. Adachi-san... Namba... You're stuck with us. <laughs> And just like that, the party's back together. Let's say we set off on another adventure. Yeah, Mr. Hero? Yeah. <laughs> well, any hero worth his salt needs a weapon to match. So, where'd you stash it? Sash what? <laughs> like you forgot. Your hero's bad. Don't tell me you tossed it out. Oh, yeah! It's, uh, well, uh... Seriously? Uh, what the hell is that? Well, I, I needed to hang stuff, so... Uh, then buy a rack or something, man! That thing deserves better! Sure does. Uh, and after my little speech. <sighs> Honestly, it's a hero's bat, right? Time to go to work. Right. All right, let's roll out. Actually, can we hold on a sec? What for? <laughs> if I'm going on an adventure, then I'll need to look the part. Bringing the old suit back was a good call. I know, right? Gotta say, it's funny. The three of us kicking things off again. <laughs> what did you expect? We're in it for the long haul. If I'm being honest, I think part of me's been waiting for this day for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's hero time. None but Adachi-san. We made names for ourselves as the heroes of Yokohama once before! Let's remind this town just what we're all about, yeah? Hell yeah! Right behind you! Yeah! I gotta say, that bat really takes me back. It was right around here you plucked that thing out of the ground, yeah? Yeah, me and Adachi-san couldn't get it to budge. Remember how you said only the chosen hero could pull it out? Oh yeah, you were calling it a holy sword or whatever. I knew you had a childhood fantasy thing going on, but at that point I wondered, is this guy okay in the head? <laughs> and I haven't changed one bit. Ha! I will be the savior of this world! Check it out. He's doing it. Get her done, hero. Always here to save the day. <laughs> hey! You old farts done LARPing around? Then how about you give us some spending money? Yeah, you won't get much from us. We're dead broke. You're telling me the three of you don't have a single yen on you? I think you're feeding me some bullshit! Now fork over some cash! Not every random guy you see is loaded, you know. Hey, hero. I think I see a slime approaching. Ready to put that holy sword to work? <laughs> I was just thinking it's been too long. Namba, Adachi-san, you ready? Yeah! Yeah! No, I guess I can kill you. The That's battle right. is on! Huh? Whoa! Did these guys just transform? Huh? Transform into what? Didn't he say something like that back in the day? How, once he became a hero, the bad guys would change during battle? 
Oh, oh yeah. Well, wait, so am I the only one? Oh well, more fun for me, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Yes. I'm up. <laughs> What's that? Yo. Oh. Okay. ありがとうございました。
Remember, stretching is important. Let's do it. Yeah. Cool. I'm up. I think I'm getting stronger. Excuse me. No. <laughs> oh. Never thought I'd see the day when we'd all join forces again. The party's back and better than ever. Well, better than ever might be a bit much for a bunch of jobless dudes over 40. Ah, who's keeping score? I say you're the best pals a guy could have. And so what if we're out of work? We're heroes in our hearts. Let's hold our heads high. You know, despite you having absolutely zero basis for saying that, I respect your optimism. Aw, oh, man, you flatter me. That wasn't exactly a compliment. <laughs> I swear, it's never a dull moment with you two around. Anyhow, let's put our backs into it, eh, comrades? Hell yeah! Okay. Oh, 
To the next level. Look at me go. Nice. Hell yeah. Moving up in the world. Let's 
Brace yourself! <laughs> okay. Got it! You're in it now! Watch this! いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました
Okay. Aren't you Risa Unai? Whoa, a real TV announcer in the flesh. <laughs> She's even hotter up close. <laughs> uh, thank you, I'm honored. Well, goodbye. Wait, hold on. You mean like take a picture? So I can show all my friends? Seriously, dude? Forget that! Hey, do you have a boyfriend? How about one of us? Who do you like better? Me or him? I'm in a bit of a hurry, actually, so excuse me. What, you think you're some kind of celebrity? I wouldn't piss us off if I were you and I, son. So she's a TV announcer, huh? I better help her get away from those sleaze balls. Hey, fellas, can't you see she doesn't want your company? Huh? Who the hell are you? Well, how do you know she's not in this, huh? to me like she wants a piece of action, don't it? My dude, if you think she looks like she wants a piece of you, no wonder nobody's into you. You talking shit, old man? What's so wrong about getting to know a hot TV announcer? If you won't let us get close, we'll just have to take you out. Bring it on! Cool! Brace yourself! Yeah. Have fun with this. That's it. Stop. Let's go. Yeah. There he is, son. What's with him? Wanna keep going? No! 
No, please, no! no. I'm so sorry! <laughs> Freaking scumbags. You all right there? I am, thank you. I really appreciate you saving me. So, TV announcer, huh? Yup. I'm Risa Unai from TBS. I'm Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. I guess you famous people got it tough, getting pestered by creeps like that. Oh, I wouldn't say that I'm famous, but I do get harassed by people like that sometimes, yes. Well, this is one hot dumpster fire of a town, so just be careful around these parts, yeah? Anyway, you heading to work? Right you are. I'm on my way to a radio show, actually. Oh, yeah? Yes, indeed. Have you heard of TBS Radio? The first time I've heard of it, but I might have a radio cassette player lying around somewhere, so I could probably tune in. Then please give us a listen. You can also try tuning in with a phone app, too. Uh, what's the show about? Oh, all sorts of things. Food, music, you name it. Sometimes we even talk about things overseas. I join as a co-host every now and then. We end up talking about games pretty often when I'm there. Are you like games too? I used to play them a lot when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, uh, a hero, you say? That sounds... cool, I guess. Is this guy some kind of LARPer? I haven't been able to play any games recently, though. Maybe I ought to use the radio to study up on what's new. That'd be great. I could even talk about how you saved me on today's segment. Oh, no, it's cool. What I did's not worth mentioning on the radio. Well, take care, Unai-san. Stay safe, and good luck with your radio show. Will do. Thank you again, Kasuga-san. Radio shows, huh? Been a while since I've listened to one, but maybe I'll give it a shot with my radio cassette back home. She mentioned they also have a smartphone app or something, so... <laughs> I guess so. Hey. Yes. Yes. Huh? 
That's so. Just leave me. I can't swim anymore. Looks like we can get up from there. Hang in there, Nama! Get it for the long haul. Uh, uh, can we really get to the Siryu clan HQ through this rat hole? Yeah, no doubt about it. Still, I have heard some rumors about some real weirdos shacking up here. Stay on guard.
It works. It works. Not bad. Delicious. Stronger. Look at me go. Hell yeah.
I'm good. Hey. Totally. Looks like we were able to sneak in. Where are we? The Seiryu clan courtyard? The chairman's room's up there, right? Yeah, no way I'd forget it. Man, that takes me back. It was just us three. Whoa, hey! The hell'd you come from? Uh-oh. So much for getting nostalgic, huh? Right. Guess it's a fight then. Now let's rock and roll! Adachi san! Namba! Ventress in! The battle is on! Cool! Brace yourself! Get lost! Okay. For you! Let's go! Watch this! I'm up! Yeah! Yeah! Yes. Another one in the bag! Not bad. Hell of a scrap back there. It's safe to say, they'll be hounding us. That just means we don't gotta sneak around anymore. We're going all the way to the top!
病院は予約した。Bring it on! Pretty good. Should I open it? Sweet! In here, nobody sneaks into Saryu HQ and gets away with it. You three are dead meat. Damn it, German's room's right there too. Oh, shit, what's the plan, Ichiban? This guy's on a good one. <laughs> He's just what we wanted. After all, every dungeon needs a tough boss at the end. <laughs> Hard. Well, if we can't knock yeah. him down, maybe we can toss him around. Don't get Watch this. I'm up. Yeah. 
I'm up! To the next level. Think I'm getting stronger. Look at me go. Hell yeah. All right. Chairman's just passed here, yeah? Yeah. Stay on your toes. All right, we'll see that it's settled before next week's meeting. Precisely. We'll accept their proposal. Is that all? Very well. I'll be in touch. <clears throat> My apologies. I had to see that through. I've been managing things in Chairman Takabe's absence. I am Ebida, the clan captain. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ichiban Kasuga-san. So what? You hear about us from Takabe or something? Yes. I've heard a great deal, too. And Takabe, he's still locked up, right? In short, one of ours got busted and the chairman took the brunt of it. He's set to be released in two years. And what about you? You're filling in for him while he's away, right? I don't remember seeing you around before. I'm a new addition. I didn't join the Seryu until after the Great Dissolution. And you're already captain? You sure climbed the ladder fast. Based on that, you must be pretty good. You flatter me. But you see, with the death of the previous chairman and the chaos that followed the Great Dissolution, well, the fact of the matter is we were short-handed. To be even more blunt about it, my promotion was based entirely on how well I earned. As a Yakuza, however, that's not really something to be proud of. Hey, you're humble, at least. Let's get back on topic. Chairman Takabe told me what you did for the Serio clan, among others. The Ejin Three are all very much indebted to you. Please excuse me for not reaching out sooner. Yeah, appreciate you rolling out the red carpet. We take security matters quite seriously here. Unless I give explicit permission, any intruders are to be eliminated on sight. Unfortunately, it seems there was a delay in giving orders. Even after I'd confirmed it was you. 
You maybe relax your grip on the place then, huh? One wrong move and we'd be feeding the fish right now. Huh. If I told my men to stand down first thing, I would never have seen our heroes of Yokohama in action. As acting head of the Seiryu clan, it's my responsibility to determine who we do business with. Surely you understand. Well, I guess we're the ones who barged in. Wouldn't be right for us to complain about it. <laughs> you have my thanks. Anyway, Ebina-san, the reason we came here... Yes, I'm aware. It's about Sasaki-san. Is that right? <laughs> that certainly saves us some time. Where do you think we're headed? Maybe the mountains? You know, so they can bury us in the woods? Far from it. We're en route to a warehouse at the wharf. And we gotta go all the way to the harbor just to talk about Sasaki? Well, seeing is believing, as they often say. After the Great Dissolution four years ago, even some Seryu clan members were ready to leave the Yakuza life behind. Chairman Takabe, in light of this, encouraged them to do just that. However, one major obstacle stands between an ex-Yakuza the outside world. The five-year ex-Yakuza clause, right? Yeah, correct. As long as that's in place, former Yakuza are unlikely to find decent work, forcing many onto the streets. Knowing what might await them, the first thing the chairman did was provide a way one might make an honest living. And what's that? You'll see. In fact, we're almost there. We bought the warehouse the Liu Mang had been using some time ago. It's here we gather trash from all four corners of the globe. Trash? I say trash, but in reality, it's a little more complicated than that. Rather, it's things one can no longer afford to keep. For example, we might receive evidence of a president's adultery, or illicit money transfer records. A scholar may call them pieces of history. But to others, they are cursed objects meant to be destroyed. As to our part, we secretly store these controversial trinkets for safekeeping. And should the client request it, we'll dispose of their trash without hesitation. It's our duty to make clients feel safe, that they might entrust their disposables to this island nation we call Japan. So, it's like a giant safety deposit box. Precisely. Each storage container is lined with lead, so even X-rays can't make out their contents. In addition, the interiors are also vacuum sealed to prevent degradation. Naturally, that demands a rather high premium, but we still find ourselves with new inventory almost every day. I swear, what'll you Yakuza think up next? Oh, this isn't just some Seryu clan racket. It's our front corporation. Right, so this is where you're sending those who want out? Yes. The Omi and Tojo's dissolution changed everything. Many Yakuza who are unable to reintegrate into society have since returned. Not everyone can weather those five long years. And thus, the Yakuza is all they have. Whatever their reasons, it's estimated they number over 10,000. There's still that many? As far as they're concerned, the best option is to side with smaller, local groups like the Seryu clan. Provided at least one organization remains, they will no doubt continue to seek them out. For this reason, 
Chairman Takabe plans to coordinate with all remaining Yakuza clans and quickly dissolve them as well. What? You mean all at once? The Yomei Alliance of Hiroshima, the Kitikata family of Hokkaido, the Ryudo family of Okinawa. Those are just the start, as he's secretly in touch with many other groups as well. He's aptly called this plan the Second Great Dissolution. Should it succeed, then the Yakuza will truly be a thing of the past. I have been acting on his behalf, carefully advancing the plan while he's away. Never knew Takabe had his sights set so high. In order to avoid the hardship caused by the first dissolution, the second will only be carried out once we've secured enough jobs. To that end, we've been expanding our business in numerous areas. Frankly, not all of them have been successful. But we can't afford to let that slow us down. We must give all we have to the task at hand. So the second great dissolution. When exactly are you guys planning to pull the trigger? When the time is right. That's all I can say for now. You've told us so much already, even though we just met. But seriously, it means a lot. Kasugazan, Adachi-san, I'm well aware of all the work you two have done in rehabilitating former Yakuza. That said, I am also aware of your current predicament. Uh -huh. Despite this, let me assure you that our goals are the same. Masumi Arakawa's last wish. His incredible dream of giving every last Yakuza a chance at normal life. Would you entrust that to us? Kasuga-san, Adachi-san. Sasaki! Guess you really were here after all, huh? Uh, I'm sorry, I, uh... <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, I came here with the intent of joining the Seiryu clan. Uh, but thankfully, ebina -san said I could stay a civilian. You've got nothing to apologize for. If you're okay with this, then you have my support. We will take responsibility and look after Sasaki-san from here on. Is that all right with you? Honestly, it's amazing what you guys have done. Makes me wonder why I even bother trying to do it on my own. Anyway, Abina-san, I ultimately just want to say thank you. This might sound kind of presumptuous of me, but... If I may, could I ask you see this through? That no man gets left behind? Yes, of course. I'll see that it's done. Kazuka-san. Hmm? Provided you still have time, there's someone I'd like you to see. Yeah? I mean, sure. I've got nothing but time right now. Glad to hear it. In that case, allow me to give him a call. That won't be necessary. <laughs> well then, it would appear he's already here. <laughs> no way. It's been a while, Ichi. Holy shit. Captain Sawashiro. <laughs> It's fine. 